Hello there, I'm a member of the training team and today I'm going to show you how to use the AR report. This report displays the rate of payment on claims. As charges and payments occur, this report will reflect those changes and users are able to pinpoint potential trouble spots. In this video, I will show you how to group and categorize your practice payment data to discover potential billing and payment problems. To open the AR report, click on Reports, then Billing Analytics, then AR. At the bottom of the page are the date range fields labeled from and to, and five drop downs that direct the results of this report. You can enter any date range that you want from the time your practice started entering data to today's date in these fields. The first drop down field is the criteria field or report grouping field. What you choose in this drop down will determine what data the report looks for and displays. This dropdown contains a pre-configured selection of report criteria, and you can also add your own customized report groupings by going to Reports, then Billing Analytics, then Billing Stats Config. The second dropdown is a practitioner filter. Select a practitioner name to limit the results of the report to the practitioner, or leave it blank to include all records that fit the other criteria. The third dropdown contains the AR stratification periods, or the AR in any combination of time periods that you choose. This option increases the precision by which you can measure potential problem areas and when they are occurring. Similar to the customizable criteria groupings, the AR stratification periods are also customizable, and you can find out how by going to Reports, then Billing Analytics, then Aging Config. See the Help section here for more information. The fourth dropdown lets you select either the service date or the date loaded, which is the date that the claim was created. The last dropdown displays the rate of payment data in the stratification periods as either the percent paid, the total paid, or the average paid. If the percent paid or average paid option is selected, a total column representing the total percent paid or total average paid is added to the report. If total paid is selected from the dropdown, an additional column is not needed. Now let's review the basic fields on the report. The first few fields in the report will reflect the criteria selected from the criteria grouping dropdown field. In this example, we'll use the financial class grouping, which groups the claims in this report by what financial class the payer is in. The number of claims field displays the actual number of claims for the criteria displayed. The number of charges field displays the number of transaction lines that were billed. The next set of fields are the AR stratification periods selected from the drop-down option. The stratification periods I selected for this report are 10, 20, 30, and 40. If the percent paid option is selected, then these fields list the percent of total payments, receivables, made within each of these time periods. These payment categories directly relate to the total paid field with the green numbers. The total billed field displays the total billed amount. The total paid field is the total amount paid to date. This field will include payments for insurance as well as all patient payments. The total adjusted field displays the total adjusted amount including insurance write-offs and provider write-offs. The total refund field displays all money transfers that have been posted with a refund code of 333, refund to patient. 312, refund to secondary. 311, refund to primary. The total percent paid field represents the total paid amount divided by the total billed amount. 
As mentioned earlier, if the average paid option is selected, this field represents the average payment per charge by dividing the total paid amount by the number of charges. If the total paid option is selected, this column is not displayed. Finally, the balance field represents all outstanding money on all claims based on the criteria. So here is a simple example of how to use this report. I am going to select the date range and then select CPT payer from the criteria dropdown since I want to run my report based on this data. I will then select my provider. Then I will select my stratification period. Then I will pick if I want to run this report based on the service date or the date loaded. I prefer a service date so that I can study the AR data from the moment that the patient was seen. I'll select total paid here since I want to see the total amount paid in each of these periods and I want to see payments from insurance as well as all patient payments. Then I will click search and the report will pull up the data based on my selections. As you can see, the first two columns are CPT and primary insurance since I selected them in the search criteria dropdown. You'll see next the number of claims and the number of charges for every payer in the date range selected that your practice built out this CPT to. Next will be the stratification periods and the total amount of money paid in each of them. As you can see, many payers have paid nothing on claims in the first 90 days since the patient was first seen. In a real situation, this would be a serious problem. The owner and office manager would have to investigate what the practice can do to improve this situation. For example, they might want to look into how staff is following up on rejected claims. Well, that's all there is to this video. We hope that you found it helpful, and if you did, go ahead and click like at the bottom of the page. Goodbye for now, and have a great day.